What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I got my new toy hauler home and I'm gonna give you a tour right now, so stay tuned. So what I have here, it's a 2020 Forest River Salem Cruise Light. It is the uh, 251 SSXL toy hauler. Has the bunk bed, you can see because it's got the slope but we'll do a quick walk around to here. It's got all the basics. It's got the outdoor shower, fresh water hookup and everything. And then uh, we got storage over here, but we'll go ahead and walk around. It's got the awning, has LED lighting, some outdoor speakers and uh, fancy steps. We'll go up in this beast. Now you already saw when I bought this thing, a little quick little look around but let's go ahead and uh, check her out a little bit more in depth so this is 25 feet of living space as you can see but uh, we'll go ahead and start here in the back well I guess it's the front actually the bedroom so I don't even have any uh, sheets or anything or blankets or anything yet but this is the front bedroom it is a short queen size which uh, we're gonna be getting a mattress pad for this because that ain't cutting it and uh, I've already laid on it I mean roughing it yeah but I'm gonna get a mattress pad but it lifts up has some storage underneath this is the uh, pass-through that's in the front and as you can see there is uh, some storage bins up here like IKEA style storage bins and then uh, it also has these cool nifty difty uh, air gas shocks that hold the bed up so you don't have to hold it. And it just goes back down. And then uh, of course you have your typical spot to uh, put a TV which I will uh, be doing a video of a TV install either here or out in the uh, living area or maybe both I'm not sure. But then we walk through here. Here we have the bathroom. We have a couple hooks. The funny thing is, is I didn't even notice those hooks until I had this at my house for like, I don't know, a week. And I was like, oh, there's hooks. Sweet. But uh, here's the bathroom. Bathroom has uh, the opening window with the little fan, skylight, and then a skylight for the uh, shower. Here's a look at the shower. Open it up a little bit. Nice new shower. Never been used. Uh, definitely going to change out the shower head. I'll uh, make a video on that, of course. But shut this up. We got a little sink here. Medicine cabinet. I just want to talk about the floors. The herringbone floors look really nice. I mean, I know it's just linoleum, but it makes it look more like tile and not like some cheesy, you know, uh, hardwood floor or whatever even though this is just some cheesy hardwood floor, <laughs> but you get what I mean. The herringbone makes it look a little bit cooler and a little bit better. But now going on, we have this upgraded refrigerator. It's 10 cubic feet. Uh, got some uh, beverages in here. Maybe we'll crack one of those open here in a second. But the uh, freezer, it's nice and big, runs off of propane or uh, 12 volt. Uh, have a microwave. This is all pretty much Standard stuff, but it's all stainless steel. Nice uh, propane oven and uh, three burner. And we got the sink. Nice water spigot, whatever you want to call it. Cool little table right here. We got a whole bunch of uh, cabinets up here to uh, store some stuff. You know, I was thinking about maybe putting somewhere maybe some hooks underneath here that I can hold my helmets and stuff like that for writing and then uh, we also have cabinets over here I just got a bunch of junk in there so far a couple things I bought and uh, here we go then we got the couch the couch actually folds up folds down into a bed uh, so that's another sleeping spot and then we have the chairs the chairs I actually really like the chairs better because you can completely move them out of the way as opposed to having another couch on the other side, which adds another six inches or so depth. So I wouldn't be able to fit the side-by-side -side in here. So that's why 
well, I didn't necessarily go with the chairs because of that reason, but if I had another couch on the other side, I'd have to remove it because it wouldn't fit with the side by side. Now, the cool part is we have another bunk bed up here. It's actually the most comfortable bed in this whole trailer. It's uh, really nice. I don't know what the why they don't use this nice mattress on the back uh, bed, but that is actually really comfortable. And it's good for like 400, it's rated for 450 pounds, um, you know, moving around weight or, you know, static, just like 650 pounds. So, I mean, two adults could sit up there, not two of me, maybe two of me, but mm, probably not a good idea. But the bunk bed is going to be a great bed for Carson. He's my son, if you don't know, but he likes going up there, playing around. And then when we're not using it, you can just remove this ladder right here, throw it up on top like so and then you just come over here to the switch and the bed just rises up and gets out of your way and then now I'll be able to stand up and we can use it as normal area when we're lounging here in the uh, couch in the chairs drinking beer so far I really really like it I haven't taken it out so I haven't really experienced it but I've spent a lot of time in here now because the uh, coronavirus has a strand is that bleh, can't even talk the coronavirus has a stranded us at One of the things that I really don't like about this is this table. This table is pretty stupid. It's not even practical at all. I mean, it looks cool and everything, but if you look, <laughs> how do I get underneath here? Well, I mean, I'm a big guy, but anyways, look at the spacing that they have through the leg and the couch. I think that's just pretty stupid. So who knows if we'll be using this very much at all. But uh, Carson could get in there. So I'll just be sitting over here, having my cerveza over here. And uh, yeah, let's do a little now more. I think we'll go outside. Hopefully the neighbor's done sawing or doing whatever the hell they're doing. But we'll go ahead and uh, put the door down so you can see it from the back and the outside. Got some nice open front windows on here. Makes it nice. Another nice thing is that this door is super light, so that's good. Won't crush me when it's coming down. But there you go. Now, if you're wondering what I'm going to put in the back of here, if you have a couple quads, quads will fit no problem. But uh, I have a 2019 YXZ uh, Yamaha 1000R but uh I fit it in here and it fits perfect uh there's a video I already did I'll put down below or a link up above that you can check out and uh, I'll even throw up a couple pictures right now of it like in there so you can check it out and see the uh footprint of that is uh 64 inches by 128 inches I believe so that fits perfectly fine in here so we're good to go on that aspect but if you're trying to fit anything like a uh if you're trying to fit like a can-am in here or anything like that there's no way you're gonna fit that in here those are way too big uh maybe the smaller can-ams i don't believe maybe they are 64 inches but i thought they were a little bit bigger but maybe but you're pushing it uh 64 inch which is the, the yamaha it's pretty much the limit that you're gonna fit in here width wise. This is just your standard size uh, RV. So it's not like a little bit extra. I don't remember off the top of my head what the actual size is, but it's the narrower of the two size toy haulers. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Let's uh, crack a beer and let's talk about what I'm gonna do here to the back, I think that I'm gonna do. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to drink this beer here. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, have a beer with me. <sighs> nice and cold. But my thoughts are, I'm sure if you've seen uh, other toy haulers, they have patio kits that actually make this go straight and out. And then they have gates on the side so that it uh, acts as like a patio and suspended so that you have extra room. So hopefully I'll do a video on... Uh, that at some point i don't know when i don't know when i'll be able to get around to getting to that because of the coronavirus and everything going on but definitely look forward to that that beer is nice and cold good thing it's like 1201 
or else I'd feel like an alcoholic. Cheers. A few moments later. Okay, here's a quick little story time with the Bry guy. Okay, so about six months ago, we go to uh, the RV show at the uh, Expo Center here in Portland, Oregon, and we come across an RV. And turns out we really like that RV, and in my head I was like, okay, yeah, that's really the standard that I'm going to go off of, so that's, that's the toy owler that I want. It's in our price range, blah, 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 blah. That's what we're going to get. Okay, so forward now to now, about... Uh, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I don't know exactly. Um, I start looking again, and then I find the one I want. Ding! And guess what? The weird thing is, six months later, this same toy hauler that I just went and purchased, the one that I'm sitting in right now, is the identical, exact same one, the same stock number, everything. It's the same toy hauler that I walked through at the RV show. Now, how crazy is that? I... I don't know. That's just insane. It blew my mind when I found out because the way I figured it out is because I took pictures of it at the RV show and then it still had the same RV tag that I have right here in my cabinet up there with the same stock number and it's from the same place and everything. So it's been sitting on the lot for six months and uh, at the time, okay, I'm going to share how much I paid for it and YouTube didn't pay for any of this. It's all my own money. So make sure you uh, buy some merch help me out but uh th at the time they wanted tw okay msrp is like thirty five thousand something and then the uh sale price at the uh, rv show was twenty nine thousand and some change i don't know but turns out when i bought this i paid twenty four thousand twenty eight dollars i believe all said and done so i feel like i got a pretty sweet deal hopefully right i think i did though letting it sit for a little bit uh kind of really helped me out and I can't believe that I bought the exact the the exact RV that I wanted that I saw and walked through. It's just it's crazy. Is that crazy? I don't know. Am I just crazy or weird? I don't know. Let's uh, finish up this beer, close up the RV, and maybe uh, close up this video. light I did it with one hand all right now I'm gonna go ahead and install a uh, backup camera it's gonna be a different video anyways thanks for joining me make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, give the video a thumbs up and uh, thank you peace out